Then, uh, so why did you uh, make this uh, just uh, white and black? Um. You usually have color, but not I, this one. I guess I did because I realized that I could. <laughs> <laughs> that, that it could have all of the information that these other paintings have in terms of overlapping shapes. You don't even but have gray here. There's no gray. I didn't need it. I could show all of the... Uh, there, there are two spirals that are it's, they're a little bit different from the other paintings. But there are two spir overlapping spirals and again stars. But I realized that I could actually uh, uh, represent all of that information of the overlapping and still and just work with, with the black and white. Um, and so it's a kind of a, it's kind of a checkerboard, but it's a, a, a much more sort of a organic or, or, um, or psychotic checkerboard, I guess I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> now this piece is, you just added two, more, yeah, I just added two more colors, really yellow and uh, Yeah, with this painting, the yellow is the background. And it's black, there's a spiral of black stars and a spiral of white stars. And where they overlap, they make the gray. And I, this was, I did this after the, some of the black ones. I just wanted to see what would happen if the field were really bright and very intense, how that would play with the illusion. Maybe it would even undermine the illusion of, of transparency. And I think it does to well, some they, they do come forward quite a bit, mm -hmm. the uh, light colors. Yeah, the light colors. Yeah. So these kind of snowflake flower forms pop out. And they're actually, the space is in between the um, between the stars, between say white stars. This is a a white star that's being overlapped by the little gray ones. This painting changes a lot uh, when you see it close up um, uh, yeah, yeah. than in the dis at the distance too. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, as he's Mario zooming in, you can see how much surface there is. On this. I really want the paintings texture, to have yeah. the color, each shape to have a kind of physicality. Uh -huh. um, even though I'm dealing with trying to create these sort of delicate illusions of translucency, I still want the, the illusions to have the sort of to be embedded in paint. I think the two spirals in this painting are maybe um, easiest to see of all the paintings. One originates here and the other one here. And again, the field color is yellow, and so we have green stars spiraling out here and red stars spiraling out there, and then they overlap. And the overlappings, you can see, are differentiated, where some, in some cases, the red star seems to be on t above the green, and then in another case, the green seems to be on top of the red. And there are also places where they're kind of in, in between, it's ambiguous. And uh, there's actually orange, and this yellow uh, orange background color is actually contained in all the other all the other colors, because um, I, I wanted to create this sort of like intense warm atmosphere that the uh, uh, the sort of saturating all the color. How about this piece? Um, I first uh, showed this in 2006 in a show here at the gallery. It was called The Pacifist Potential. And it was a show of uh, both work by gallery artists and uh, in invited artists. Uh, uh, work on, on the uh, Iraq and Afghanistan wars. And for this, I, um, I pounded a nail. Uh, at, in, at the time it was exhibited, I pounded a nail for each U.S. military death in Iraq and Afghanistan. And when I first showed it, I think the nails came down to about here. And then I've shown it three other times since. Uh, in my last uh, solo show, and once in, in Walla Walla at the Carnegie Gallery, and then again now. Where and do you get the, your uh, latest figures? I get it from a, a website called iCasualties. And they, they keep daily track. I don't I I don't look every day anymore. But I also I have keep a notebook and add. And there's also a tally on the the side here of all the numbers. So 
as of that date. Uh, that's that's the uh, the total number. And as you can see, I'm getting close that's to the like bottom the, of the uh, word. play on the word, uh, the number and pounding instead of counting. And pounding. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and pounding. Right. So I hope that I can end this project soon. Uh, but I don't have a great deal of optimism on that. The paintings here in the window represent the two bodies of work. Uh, the one on the right is a linear uh, study for the uh, cubic knots, and maybe it shows a little bit more clearly the uh, what's going on geometrically with it. Um, I like, I like how cubic. clean this is. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> do you like flat, clean paint, not 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 uh, painterly? Yeah, it's actually probably the only painting that actually, I use masking tape uh, to, uh, to mask off those lines. And it's probably the only painting I've made since graduate school that I used tape. As a, I, I decided I, I didn't like that kind of an edge, but I wanted it to be really clear and crisp. And this one? And this one is uh, Bipolar Coils Magenta. And uh, it's uh, the overlapping of two spiraling uh, uh, star patterns and uh, against a, a magenta, deep magenta ground. And so the, the pinkness of this, each of the single layer of stars is this pink and then where they overlap it's the white. So why are you so uh, hung up on these uh, spirals? Uh, what is it about spirals? Well they just provide a way of kind of creating gesture in the picture that I just find really fascinating. Mm -hmm. You know, they, it both kind of um, activates the surface um, and it also provides a kind of an armature that I can build the geometry on too. Mm -hmm. um, I guess well, I think it's very sculpturally. Yeah. You start out with uh, outlines, right? You, yeah, they're all, it's all drawn out. And as I say, the spiral is the only thing that I actually draw out before I start working on the canvas. Mm -hmm. And then I come and do all the other triangulation that leads to the stars after afterwards but um, yeah I mean the spiral it just it has so many connotations for me mm -hmm. um, and in a way I think of my own progress as a painter has followed a kind of spiraling course mm -hmm. you know it's not like onward and upward it's like I keep yeah. circling around yeah. Yeah. ideas that I've you know had for years and each time I come back around to something like I guess like I'd say between the cubic knots and these paintings mm -hmm. I you know I think back on it it, 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 it uh, informs the work that I'm doing now and then I it also I look back on that work and I think of things that are I do differently mm -hmm. um, and so it's a continual kind of a reinvention like uh, being married to this uh, crazy artist <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's see, well, um, always exciting. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Last words? No. How, how about uh, laughing? <laughs> <laughs>